which passed a Senate committee today. The bill would require an environmental impact study to be done before a salt cavern under Lake Penure can be expanded. AGL Resources is asking for a permit to expand the Iberia Parish Cavern to store natural gas. Lawmakers supporting the bill say residents in the area should be protected from any potential threat an expansion could cause. And we want to continue now with part two of our reports on that massive sinkhole out in Bayou Corn. As the sinkhole continues to grow and even bubble natural gas, a mandatory but not forced evacuation order is in effect for 150 homes in the area. Bayou Corn may be the scene of a geological event baffling scientists, but for hundreds of others, it's home. Sportsman's Drive is a collection of beautiful homes and yards in a sportsman's paradise on the banks of the community's namesake, Bayou Corn. What would y'all say is your favorite feature of living out here? Well, the most favorite feature is just being next to this beautiful little natural bayou, you know? Because from here... For Dennis and Pat Landry, this is their dream home, right on the bayou. But just 3,000 feet away is the sinkhole that bubbles and burps natural gas and continues to grow by the acre. Since last summer, the Landrys have been under a mandatory, but not forced evacuation. They say they aren't going anywhere. Don't want to leave it at all, though. No. no. Don't want to leave. Be hard to replace, and, uh, and I tell you, we just don't want to give it up. But living on the bayou hasn't been as carefree as it used to be before the sinkhole, always in the back of their minds. It's been a, it's been a matter of uh, living here with a suitcase packed in case we have to leave. About 150 households are within the evacuation zone surrounding the sinkhole. Some evacuated, some like the Landry's chose to stay. But for all full-time residents, Texas Brine has pledged to help. The company owns the collapsed Brine Cavern below the sinkhole. Sonny Cranch is a Texas Brine spokesman. Uh, we're required to provide uh, assistance and have been paying $875 a week to those persons whose primary residence was in the evacua is in the evacuation zone, and that continues today. What do you think so, is the uh, consensus among the neighbors here? Are a lot of people staying? The consensus among the neighbors, I think the overwhelming majority of those 22 uh, families is they want to stay. In fact, of the 22 homes on Sportsman's Drive, 20 are still occupied. Texas Brine is now appraising homes in the area, preparing to offer buyouts for those too afraid to come back. The Landrys hope it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping to stay as long as I feel it's safe. If we have to take a buyout, we just hope uh, they're generous enough to make it worth our while to leave. Now tonight, state officials held a meeting in Assumption Parish with residents of Bayou Corn. They briefed them on the latest seismic imaging results. So far, there are no indications of another sinkhole forming nor subterranean pockets of natural gas. Texas Brine is expected to start making buyout offers to residents next week.